Hello and welcome to this very special episode of Champions of the Trade. I'm Sam and I'm delighted to welcome Alistair McCauley, founder and CEO of TradeCart, who's here to talk about their product and how you, the tradesperson, can benefit from what they have to offer. Welcome, Alistair. It's great to finally meet you. Um, so can I start by asking... Um, can you tell our audience about yourself and your background? Uh, we'd love to hear about your family decorating merchant business, for example. Yeah. Great, nice to meet you, Sam, and thanks for uh, welcoming me on the uh, on the to the interview. Um, yeah, so I mean, I guess you could say merchanting is in my blood. I, uh, you know, my uh, my dad set up a decorators merchant up in the northwest uh, back in the sort of late seventies, um, and I had the joys of growing up in that business. Um, as a kid, loved working there on Saturday morning, serving customers and got used to it from a very young age um, and sort of all through my school holidays would work in the business um, and then went off to university and after university came back uh, and worked there full time. So um, it's a decorators merchant business across the northwest. Um, and then in 2000, we sold that business to at the time ICI Paints, which is Dulux um now known as uh, Axe Nobel so uh, a big decision big family decision and I moved from the, the world of family business to the much bigger world of uh, corporate business so it was a big shock to the system but made by your background is obviously you know exactly how the trades people work um you've got a fantastic background there and, and a massive knowledge base which helps a yeah lot. it's i mean sadly i can still call off bs uh color codes for all the various <laughs> colors on paint it's uh and i could really do with using that brain space for something else now but i think they're locked with me for life yeah I, i've got the same thing i know skew codes for cables and double sockets <laughs> so. <laughs> um so what, what inspired you to start trade car and what what's the story behind its founding yeah so um you know, I, as I say, I moved over to Acton Abel and I worked there for, for 20 years, actually, in marketing and sales and operations. And eventually I was uh, managing director, which was, you know, a fantastic role. But um, sort of 20, 2017, 2018 onwards, fantastic role, lots of people, brilliant brands um, and took, you know, guided the business through the early the first year of COVID, if you will. And um, and sort of realized you know at my age i'm not the, i'm not the normal age for a, for a founder of a, a tech business but um it was it was really inspired um by the whole uh, pandemic and the fact that us as consumers were used to just clicking our fingers and getting what we needed to be delivered to our door whether it's amazon i'm sure you had all the amazon parcels delivered during covid uh, delivery or if you're out and about using uber and and I just thought actually in construction um, and, and trade generally, you know, we are light years behind where we are as consumers. And it's really pertinent because in the trade, time genuinely is money, you know. Yeah. So all of the time that people spend, and on average, the tra an average tradesperson would go to store at least three times a week. And we say that's at least an hour, that's three hours a week that are lost. And I just thought, actually, why can't there be a Deliveroo style model for tradespeople whereby at the touch of a button, they can get what they want delivered to site really quickly and they can uh, continue with the job that they're doing. So, that, I mean, that, that, that brings back to uh, a job that I've been working on, on recently. And that's a perfect example because I was in the middle of a job I realized I needed some extra parts. I looked at the time and I thought to myself, well, by the time I've left site, gone to the wholesaler and come back again, it's the end of the day. Um, yeah. So I, I literally just said, well, there's no point me carrying on. Um, so I went went back home and obviously got the parts on the way back home and came back the following day. But that's that's time lost. Um, and obviously when you've quoted for a job, the 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 quote is the price so obviously yeah. the quicker you can get the job done the more money that the trace person makes so it, it's a yeah, fan, fantastic idea and, and i really wish I, I could have done with it a couple of weeks ago um <laughs> it would have really helped me out yeah it is and it's it's um it's you know it's now the challenge for us is changing habits because generally everybody's 
in the habit of jumping in the van, you know, in the morning and going to the merchant and picking up materials and going to site and then running out of materials like you, your example of leaving site. Uh, and that's, you know, it's a challenge for the tradesperson, but it's also a challenge for the client. You know, when the, the tradesperson says, look, I've got to pop off down to the local merchant and pick up whatever the parts are. So that was really the the inspiration uh, behind trying to get this thing off the ground. But as I say, you know, I'm not, you know, grown up in the merchanting world, not the tech world. So um, I, uh, yeah, gathered a few people together um, and started off with tradespeople. I really want it to be, you know, a product that is built by the trade for the trade. So we got a bunch of tradespeople together. We actually got them in a local pub, put on a barbecue. I know the way to these people's hearts. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and we kicked around the idea and they were like, oh my God, that would save so much time. You know, yeah. so we then went away and um and started building it and testing it and that was what the summer of 2021 so so that was off the back of the covid19 uh, pandemic then so uh, so what were there any challenges that, that came along with that well i suppose for us it was more of an opportunity because as consumers we've all had the taste of this rapid convenience um yet as tr you then put your tradesperson hat on and it's like going back in time yeah so I wanted, you know, the trade, you know, construction sector to catch up with what we're used to, used to in our day to day lives and being able to click your fingers, press a button and get what you want when you need it. Um, so it was it was the inspiration. And also it was an opportunity as a result of the um, pandemic to to change people's ways. And also people became more tech savvy because a lot of what we do um, is now through our phone. The, the challenge during COVID and coming out of the back of it was really, you know, getting the funding. You know, it's, a, it's, it's you know, it's not a small thing to set up. Uh, and we've invested a lot of money in technology because it has to be right. And yeah. we want to offer a brilliant experience. So talking to investors over the last sort of 12 to 18 months, you know, it's been a challenge. But we've been really fortunate to find some great people, quite a lot of tradespeople actually have invested um, to support us on this journey with real belief that this can be some, become a, a common product that all tradespeople have in the palm of the hand and, and it helps them out on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and with that, you pretty much answered my next question, which was to uh, ask, um, can you explain what Tradecart does and why somebody like myself as an electrician would want to use it? <laughs> but if, if you... So it's... Um... So it's essentially it is like a delivery model for for tradespeople. Um, so we've built a platform. Um, so if you're in the centre of London, which is we're now live across the whole of London, um, and you download our app and you go onto the Tradecart app, it will connect you to all of the our partners and, and local merchants, and it will give you livestock um, their pricing. So they choose yeah. um, you know, they list on our platform. So wherever you are, it gives you instant access to all of the products. Um, you select the product you want uh, really simply. Um, you then uh, add it to your cart um, and go on to purchase it. And then as soon as you press pay, that order picks up, um, pings up in the local merchant to say there's an order now in for trade cart. The, the merchant hopefully very quickly pulls that That's order good. together um and as soon as they uh say that the order is ready for collection our driver is on the way uh or one of our drivers is on the way to uh to collect it and deliver and um you know our average delivery uh time across london at the moment is around about 55 minutes from placing your order london yeah. um which is which is fantastic and i suppose you know 18 months ago i never thought we'd be here uh, so quickly but we've been very fortunate to to bring on board some brilliant merchant partners um and um and we now offer roughly 27,000 products um delivered in less than an hour um all generally within the M25 um and High Wickham because that's where we launched and tested okay. it so yeah. High Wickham close to our heart from that perspective um but yeah so that's that I mean that's essentially how it works we started in painting and decorating um, and now we've since moved into electrical and plumbing and general building. So last week, in fact, uh, City Plumbing, uh, the merchants have just come on board live. So we've, we've just opened 30, 32 of their branches are now plugged into the platform. We've got builders merchants on there, decorators merchants and uh, electrical wholesalers as well. So we've got a really 
nice product mix, hopefully offering tradespeople everything they need. That sounds great. So if I was if I was working in London myself, I had a client in whichever part of London I'm going to, I could literally just jump on the tube, turn up at the client's address and have you deliver all the parts that I need for that job. So I wouldn't even need my van, really. I just need my bag of tools with me. Yeah, which is which is a touchy subject at the moment in London because obviously there's ULEZ, which has now yeah. expanded to the whole of the M25. Um, so there's the cost of ULEZ, there's the cost of congestion, yeah. there's the value of a parking spot. So when you yeah. lose your parking spot to go out to the merchants, it's costly uh, and finding a parking spot is often hard. Um, so it's much more sustainable. You know, our, our aim is to, for every mile we deliver, we, we replace a CO2 mile with a, a mile, hopefully with a, an electric fleet. Our, within zone one, our most popular mode of transport is um, the cargo bike. So okay. the electric bikes with the big tray, tray in front of them. Yeah. They're fantastic because you can use them in uh, in the bus lanes and, and zip around the city really quickly. Um, and this morning, what are we on now? Well, uh, you know, half 11, we've probably done about 40 deliveries um, in sort of zone one, zone two, predominantly through pedal power, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what's the what's the most rewarding aspect of, of leading trade car? And what just keeps you motivated to keep going with it? So I still get a text every time an order comes through. Uh, and the fact that, you know, 18 months ago, it was really just an idea, you know, and it was, uh, it was a big risk for me. I've come from a, you know, nice, comfortable job that I love, but actually starting from scratch with just an idea and a plan on a piece of paper to now 18 months on the fact that tradespeople are now, you know, using us every day um, and speaking to tradespeople and getting their feedback on how it's completely changed the way they operate, you know, um, and I can think of, several off the top of my head who now probably order three times a week on the app that's three hours saved and it it gives them that gift of time back yeah. and they can choose whatever they want to do with that time and i think during covid we've all appreciated uh time much more so the gift of three hours a week you know whether that's working or time with your family or whatever it may be then um that's really satisfying to know that we've now built a product that's able to do that for, you know, in a market that I've sort of grown up in and, you know, know and love. Yeah. Of course, time is probably the most valuable commodity that we all have. hundred percent. Yeah. So, so you, you mentioned your, your bicycles. Um, what other su sustainability initiatives does, does Trade Cart follow? So we've recently done for the Clean Air Day, World Clean Air Day, we did uh, we we planted a tree for every delivery. Um, we've got a real ambition to become B Corp. Um, so the first business of our kind within construction um, that really has sustainability at the heart of why we exist. Um, I think there's the you know sustainability in terms of uh, the environment. You know, ideally, getting the CO two miles. Um, eradicating those, replacing them with electric and pedal power is yeah. really powerful. But also, I think from a sustainability perspective, you know, making the whole trade more sustainable, helping with mental health because people are less stressed. Yeah. It's easy to, you know, it, they're not having to, you know, traipse through all the traffic of London um, and, and at the touch of a button, they can get what they need. So the aim for the whole brand is anybody who comes in contact with Trade Cart uh, should benefit as a result of it. Um, so the merchants become more tech savvy, trade people save valuable time, and actually the manufacturers get their products in front of trade people through an app rather than aisles and aisles of uh, product in store. Yeah, that's great. So are there, are there any exciting upcoming projects within TradeCart uh, that you'd like to share with our audience? Yeah, so we're you know we're moving at a rate of knots. Our ambition is to be nationwide uh, and offer all tradespeople um, the service. Certainly in the major in the major conurbations. So from November we're starting to push north. Um, so we're looking at opening or certainly trialing Manchester and Liverpool. Okay. Um, and our aim, you know, we've mapped the top one hundred cities across the UK, uh, and we're really keen to to push the service out to those. We need to find really good merchants uh, as partners uh, to support us on that journey. And hopefully we can connect those merchants to lots of new customers um, and uh, improve the lives of tradespeople across the UK. That sounds really exciting. And I suppose if you've got companies like uh, 
that have, have come on board then they're a national company aren't they so you you yeah. really start to get your 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 bases within the other cities yeah so yeah it's city plumbing um but it's city uh yes yeah, so it's city plumbing we're talking to a number of um uh, builders merchants at the moment and actually national merchants generally um yeah. so it's uh you know in the last 14 days we've opened up 40 plus new stores on the on the app and that's continually growing the range of products that we have available yeah it's it, it's just amazed as me just how quickly and how vast trade cut has become in such a short space of time um i mean congratulations on, on a fantastic product Thank you. um i had so a lot more hair when i started <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had some. <laughs> so, so finally, uh, is there anything else you'd like to share or communicate with our audience uh, about Trade Cart for your vision and your future? So look, we're, it's um, it's a journey of changing habits, isn't it? So I'd urge anybody who's within one of our delivery areas uh, to give it a go. There's lots of codes knocking around out there so people can trial it um, pretty much for, with a free delivery uh to to just give the whole experience a go if you do give it a go then i welcome open and honest feedback what what went really well and where we could get better as i say this is this is to be built by the trade for the trade so we're only going to improve based on that feedback um you know the world is changing rapidly and you know we've all used got used to using our phones and pressing a button and getting what we need and why shouldn't as tradespeople who are working long hours you know, often in challenging conditions, yeah. Yeah. why shouldn't we try and make their lives easier? So, um, yeah, please give it a go. As I say, we're live in London. Anywhere in London now, you, you're you able to use us and hopefully we'll be coming to a city near you over the next uh, over the next 12 months. Sounds great. And well, one very last question that I should ask is um, mm. prices, about pricing. Do you do um, monthly subscriptions, annual subscriptions? So, yeah, so I should have said, actually, so we, we our delivery promise is within two hours um, and we charge five pound flat, flat delivery fee. Yep. Um, so we don't offer a subscription. It's something that people have asked for. So it's definitely on the radar. Um, all of the prices that you see on the app are the prices that the merchants charge. So we don't touch price. We literally connect the merchant to the tradesperson. So and generally the feedback has been that the, the prices are, are very competitive. So that's uh, it's a really simple pricing model. You go on, you pay. We charge a fiver for delivery, which is, uh, you know, which is, you know, versus probably losing an hour at, you know, 30, 40, maybe 50 pounds. Yeah, going into nothing, is it? Collect something. It's a bit of a no brainer. Yeah, that's outrageously cheap, if I may say so myself, especially for London. <laughs> <laughs> We just want well. We just want people to trial it, and uh, and hopefully it will make a, a positive difference. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Alistair, and all the best with Trade Card. Pleasure. Great to meet you, and thanks for your time. You too. See you soon.